you guys can download the jelly kit is uh, from um, Oracle and there is another method if you guys want to download since JDK 16 you guys got the HTTP I'm gonna show you this method HTTP bit dot ly Java 16 download Java 9 you guys can put a Java 9 or Java 16 download I download mine one a couple of years ago the same method on Java 9 uh, I'll bring this command if you guys want to check just type here CMD inside this um, command prompt inside this window and once the command prompt open just put a Java version see what version inside your uh, computer is running so I want to check what sort of Java because as far as I remember I downloaded Java 9 so Java SE runtime Java server 64-bit yeah so my server if you guys see don't see this one it means you don't have a Java installed on your system all right so to install the Java you guys need to download just Java JDK so uh, because we go ahead and download Java JDK and I think I downloaded Java JDK and it takes you here JDK 16 uh, binary.exe is downloaded for Windows so you guys need to know that if your Windows is 32 bit or 64 I assume it's 64 bit because uh, uh, it's nowadays a lot of powerful uh, um, computers out there um, uh, 32 bit is thing of the past now and a lot of uh, 4 gig RAM or 3 gig RAM coming with 500 uh, at least 500 GB of uh, hard drive so your one should be on uh, if it's good if you guys go to Windows 10 it means you you are on 64-bit uh, so 64 installer you guys install this 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 guy is here don't worry about the guys there because that's for Linux and Mac OS if you guys got a Mac you guys download this if you guys got a Linux and I assume if you got a, if you run a Linux then you know how to download is tar GZ okay that's rpm that's rpm towards you that's uh, dep uh, binary for dep just unzip it and run it on uh, uh, linux um, play store or linux uh, software installer it downloads for you but because the windows is a bit uh, technical uh, sorry windows is a bit uh, weird so we download here with this uh, sorry guys uh, my main operating system is Linux I don't use uh, Windows so that's one thing uh, I admit all right so once you guys but you guys need to uh, accept the license agreement so once you guys come here and you guys accept and once you guys press this it comes in there and you guys go in at your download and you guys see that uh, your uh, uh, Java is installed so you guys gonna um, I was there at the local that was just ignore this you guys here and you guys see this uh, JDK bin exe so you guys I'll double click I think I've got the uh, Java 9 installed so I'll go and check the environmental variable inside this um, um, okay so now it's in it's starting on uh, Windows Play Store okay so while it's installing you guys go and uh, open your control panel control panel because we want to install this uh, Java um, 
in inside your system so you guys will will be able to run their windows android studio and uh, intellij idea because you need guys need the java virtual machine java on your system all right so once this um, installed sorry once this open control panel okay so it's giving me warning because java is trying to install and they telling us to install it from uh, their store and java i don't think they have it on their store okay so system is security system okay once you guys come into the system you guys click this one and it comes here advanced system setting so you guys go is control panel system and security i'll show you again inside this system and you guys go is advanced setting and at the here you guys see the environment variables this is a, a user variable and this is the system so java home this is my java home java jdk uh, 9.0.1 all right so once the java development kit comes in so i'll tell you guys this is environmental variable you guys need that's a user and that's a system so i already put mine one here at the so i'm running java 9 okay so java 16 is installing on the system I think it looks uh, it takes a long long time so what I'll do is that I'll um, stop the recording of the video and uh, we come back once it, this Java installed on the system so once it's installed I'll show you guys how we put this uh, you guys if you guys don't see this one you guys go on the new or in my case i'll go and edit because i want to put java 16 so you guys go on the new you guys need to download on the user on the system first uh like this class program files java jdk 901 and if you see on the command it's showing 901 because that's how installed in uh, system in the system so if you guys go here program files if you go here and we can see the java this is a java jdk 901 gre java runtime environment java development kit that's how and i installed back 2018 it's showing the date and i want to replace that with java 16 and we wait till java starts downloading and at the moment it takes a long time so we come back maybe in part two to see if our uh, download has finished all right once uh, my uh, java installed i think it's already uh, video is taking longer so i'll come i'll terminate this uh, bit here welcome back uh, guys um, my um Sorry, there was a bit of a delay because I had to do other projects uh, in uh, Linux. Um, it looks like my uh, JDK1601 for Windows 64 binary has installed, and so I'll go, I'll go and recheck. So my uh, um, this one is still open. So if I uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video or something that if you want to guys want to do your uh, uh, this uh, environment variable you guys can do environment variables control panel you guys directly can open from here all right so in our case we had to open this um, uh, control panel then we went to security I'll go back and I'll repeat again uh, security and from security where was sorry from the security we went to the system and advanced system setting which is this one and from here we accept, uh, uh, click this one environment variables and here as you guys can see my 
we go to local and we go to program files I had a Java 9 in this one which I deleted and I replaced it with Java 16 which I just downloaded uh, downloaded and just Java JDK 1601 make sure you guys when you guys go to your um, uh, see if you guys see as I explained before this is a user variable and this is a system variable and in here see this is a Java home if you guys don't see this one Java home make sure you guys create this one with the new so when you guys go there um, I'll I'll do this one so you guys when you guys press this new you guys go here variable name and on the um, uh, uppercase caps lock you guys put a java home like this one uh, which i did just did it before uh, and the variable name put the path of this variable name so where is your uh, uh, java jdk so your java jdk is as we explained is inside the program files which is here and then here and it's jdk so the path here so we put a c uh, backslash program files backslash java backslash jdk uh, 16.0.1 that's how we put it here so that's how exactly you guys put it uh, don't worry about this browse directory or browse files you guys needs to put like this so java home point the variable here that so the windows knows that your java jdk java development kits uh, sitting here at the Java folder in JDK 1601 so you click OK once that one done you guys come in here down down at the path if you don't see path just create it and when you see a path think when you press new you just put a path P A T H on capital then you put this um, two see percentage sign there is a one percentage sign so I'll do that again uh, Java home bin so you do like that you do two percentage sign um, okay two percentage sign and then uh, you put a Java home Java home and then you guys put a backslash and you put a bin that's it so you're putting the path now because on your Java home, you guys going gonna point to this folder here, uh, local C program file Java JDK, and in this one, you guys pointing to this binary inside. So I'll show you the binary. This is the folder. It's a bin. It's not a rubbish bin. It's a binary. So we are we are pointing to this one. So uh, Windows knows that uh, we are looking for this little dll files uh, dynamic link libraries inside this uh, windows so you you see all this dot dll 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 this is a windows uh, file dynamic link library files inside this uh, jdk for windows because that's uh, dll is windows all right so tar dot uh, gz is for linux all right so that's how you guys do that you just put it inside this two uh, java home and put a slash bin all right so you don't forget that that's how you guys put it in the part all right once it's done you just click ok and click ok and type here cmd and you here you guys put a java version put a dash version version and here you guys see that the java version 1601 2021 whatever we have just installed this one so uh, that's how the java uh, standard edition runtime environment 1601 is installed as you guys see my mine one was um, uh, java 9 and now i installed the java 16 that's how you don't do that so i'll uh, show you guys this one again all right so looks like this one's done the installation is done and we go ahead in the next video and we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh,
you see how we're gonna download this IntelliJ idea. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you guys got any question or comment, just leave it below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.